Hey guys, this is Sunny Claus, and welcome back to another episode of Off the Wagon and the brilliant little game known as Psychonauts. Oh yes, it's time to delve a bit deeper into the mind of Tim Schafer and his cohorts over at Double Fine. Yes, we tackled the plight of Dear Linda a little while ago, and now we're actually going to tackle... The man known as the Milkman. So, without further ado, let's head into his mind. Yeah. Not another tracking device. Isn't it? Yes. Almost complete. Just a few missing pieces. Yes, now which piece talks about the milkman? The one who opens the asylum gate? But it's all about the milkman. Can't you see? Is this like one of those 3D paintings? I can never do those. No, you just gotta learn to see it like I see it. There's something in the fridge that might help you see the world. Like I do. Ooh, sorry. Uh, I don't drink. Before noon, I mean. <laughs> Manager yeah, of that you gotta love that humor, huh? With the back okay. Of, uh, yeah, this uh, is... To be honest, my absolute favorite of the entire game, this mind. It is... Brilliantly psychotic and strange. Hey, uh... Where's the door? On the front. Like most refrigerators. <laughs> Wait. Yep. You can't go anywhere they without the opening the door because, well, you really need to learn to understand his mind, which is Can not, a, not a very pleasant <laughs> thing. <laughs> what? Since the year... Badge! Oh, yeah. It's time for some... There we go. Yep, and we can see through the eyes of another. So, let's use it on him, huh? How long do they think Probably a good idea, that? right? Dead? Ah, oh, crud. Burned up in a department store fire. Didn't you hear? At least that's what the media would have you believe. Is he dead or not? Go to the graveyard. Dig him up. Oh, you'll find something all right. But it's neither man nor milk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who are merely the pawns of... Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Where is the milkman? Well, he's not in the graveyard, so that's the first place you should look. <laughs> I'd go down there myself. But I can't get in. Operatives, optics, ocularities everywhere. Uh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> are you buying or are you spying? Yep, that's I'm the way you look to him. There's and no fruit at the bottom. That's actually one of the, the funnier parts. Be careful. They're watching. All the time. Okay. Now, how am I going to find some creepy graveyard in this nice, normal neighborhood? Oh, yeah. There are some uh, twists and turns. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, let's actually um, just set this up a bit more. And... Yeah, let's do that. Oh, damn it, I always press the wrong damn button. Okay. Yeah. No, 
it's time to take a look around. Actually, let's let's do this instead. Let's put that there. There we go. Ah, every single damn time. Okay, uh, let's just grab a couple more figments. The figments in uh, this map are slightly harder than the ones in uh, Longfishopolis. And because, well, they're a lot more spread out and the area is not exactly conducive to spotting colors. Because, well, the whole thing is just colors. Yeah, and as you can see, he is... Uh, one uh, paranoid little puppy, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> yep, things are actually after the guy. That gets me thinking is it actually paranoia if they're out, really out to get you? <laughs> oh yes, you didn't think of that, did ya? Hmm? And who told you not to think like that? Was it the milkman? Uh, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, and you can uh, enter... I... Yeah, you should be able to enter, I think, every single house in this neighborhood. And you can destroy a lot of stuff in there as well. Even though it's... It's not really necessary to destroy stuff because you just get some temporary boosts and stuff like that. And here we have one of the first things that we need to collect. I don't want to throw that away. Yeah. You'll get to see why I need this in a little while. Because this has, in my opinion, by f far the creepiest characters running around. Uh, not as in scary, but just plain weird, you know? And here we go. So the no guys. Head Xing. I cannot wait until the next payday. Yeah. Got it. Like I said. These are the guys. Well, let's head in here and just clean this up a bit, so to speak. Grab a couple of psychic arrowheads. Yep. here as well. There we go. Okay, now let's see what happens if you actually move in here. Stop. Road crew workers only be on the yellow line. You guys are road crew workers? Yes, we work on the road with these red signs. I see. Well, do you guys know where the milkman is? Why do you ask that question? Are you the milkman? Do I look like a milkman to you? That information is restricted to the road crew. Please move along. Thank goodness it is Friday. Yeah. And if you go like this. This is a restricted area. Yep. And you actually get sort of arrested and uh, kicked back. My red well, the thing is, it's uh, probably it's actually a fairly good idea to. It is very hot here, working on the road. Go in Stop. there and get caught this once. Is a restricted area. You are not on the road crew. Initiating arrest. Come with us. Who is the milkman? How many fingers am I holding up? How much are they paying you? Where did you get the red sign? What happened inside that house? How did you move that trash can? <laughs> yeah, exactly. There we go. Let's pick that up. The road crew. This is my stop sign. Hello, fellow road crew worker. <laughs> Welcome to the road crew. And if you check out how you look, you look like a guy on the road crew. <laughs> Hello, fellow road crew worker. Welcome to the road crew. I am on the road crew. This is my stop sign. Yes, we are all on the road crew. Our backs are killing us. 
<laughs> oh man. Oh help. Did I just do that? Wow. For some reason my uh, mouse button got a bit stuck there. Well I am on the road crew. This is my stop sign. Hello, fellow road crew worker. You do get to, to the road crew. Keep moving. And you need no pet Xing. <laughs> These uh, weird guys are basically everywhere, and they're all doing some weird stuff, like that guy over there. Yes. Can you hear me? Yeah, he's doing exactly what it looks like he's doing. He's shoving that thing right down his throat. Looks like it would be healthy, doesn't it? <laughs> There we go. And let's head on in here right quick and grab us a couple of things. That's a figment there and boom. And let's get out. You can actually beat, beat up all those boxes and stuff like that and get some... Uh, uh, some more stuff. But it's not really worth it, though. Hey, I'm just gonna walk through, okay? Please stay back. There is a severe electrocution danger. <laughs> yes, of course there is. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Hey, oh, I'm yeah. just gonna walk through, okay? I cannot let someone near my hedges who has not been properly trained in the use of the trimmers. <laughs> some yeah. The popularity of mobile <laughs> hedges become unruly job. over time and need to be trimmed. This place is just so wonderfully weird. Can't actually go near those things just yet. You need to collect all this stuff. So, first, I. Really do need to head to the uh, graveyard, but it, as you can see, it's really easy to get sidetracked in this particular mission because it's, well, it's tempting to just explore everywhere because you do get a lot of stuff if you do. So maybe I'm actually gonna do a. I'm not entirely sure that it's gonna be a 100% completion on this, but it's definitely gonna be a. Uh, Hedges. Hey, a lot of stuff collected in me. Well, we can actually head in there so you guys can see, but you can't really do much. I am fixing the telephone. I'm glad you are here to help me trim these hedges. You can just grab these figments for now and that tag. You can head inside, but these are you need a new thing to actually help me maintain my hedge. <laughs> I like to trim hedges. It is a good day for that activity you mentioned. Please join me. <laughs> yeah. Pie crusts Here? should be rolled outward from the center. Here you actually need... Apart from the fact that you can do that, this you need and I am the rolling pin to actually... Uh, Pies are delicious. Keep going any further in and uh, get that buff in there. Because... If you uh, run in here right now, you are actually going to be arrested right away. Me trim these hedges. So, let's not do that right now. Is there anyone on the line? Let's pick this pace up a bit. Uh, yeah, it's sort of like tightrope walking this. I did go in here, didn't I? No. There we go. Closing in on the shield upgrade. Shield upgrade that is gonna make sure that I actually uh, damage anyone that hits me. Hello, sir. I am a rainbow squirt. Would you like to buy a box of my delicious rainbow treats? I would buy some cookies, but I don't have any milk. Do you have any idea where I could buy some milk for my cookies? Ah! Creepy man! Excuse me, but I'm looking for the milkman. Stop talking to me! You're going to get me in trouble! 
yeah, these rainbow squirts are definitely hiding something, aren't they? What do you guys think? This job is unsavory, and it must be performed by someone. <laughs> uh, these... Uh, the comments they're delivering, they're just awesome. <laughs> yes, we are all on the road crew. Our backs are killing us. I mean, it's... Uh, it's so beautiful. This place can be really, really disorienting. Sewers are full of rats. Hey, I'm just gonna walk through, okay? The sewers are not safe for civilians, and they smell very bad. This job is unsavory, but it must be performed by someone. Yep. The sewer is very important, is I and can't we actually are responsible for its upkeep. Go past this. Due to illegal disposal of hazardous materials, sewer water is often highly radioactive. Hey, yeah. And let's do that. Can't actually get this guy yet because, well, you're gonna get the tag a bit later on. Then. Oh. Yeah, the camera becomes really, like I said, really disorientating. Disorienting? Disorientating? Whatever. <laughs> These camera angles, man, they just. Ugh. And I can actually get over to the other side with a single jump here, but I do need to go into this. I wish my loved one had remembered to indicate me as the beneficiary of his 401k plan. I need to go into that place, actually, so. But let's get this vault. There we go. Exactly. <laughs> uh. well, let's grab this. Actually, do didn't need to increase my acid projection layer again. Since I like, really dropped the ball, tag. so to speak. Right. As you can see, all these guys in here are holding flowers which means stop this is a restricted area yeah they're playing him like guitars so i need to get a new disguise which is a couple of lilies can't go in there because i don't have a watering can yet and well what do we have here Yep, as you can see, there's a door here and some flowers. Let's grab this figment over here. And now I actually do need to do like this. go and now I can actually do it like this oh yeah yes you see when I open this this opens and when it closes it closes okay so if I do it like this it's open yeah. Oh, yeah. I am a grieving widow. Yep. I am a grieving widow. <laughs> Let's head back to the graveyard. Actually, that puzzle... I, I, I think it's possible that they wanted to make that harder than it actually turned out to be. Because it's really easy. You just need to jump over on the way in. Oh, <laughs> Well, that's what I get for... Uh. <laughs> for trying to act cool. <laughs> I am a 
There we go. Grieving widows. <laughs> These flowers are so, a let's... Of my remembrance uh, for my I see that you are grieving. I will give you your space. <laughs> yeah. Boo-hoo. <laughs> Yeah, these guys are weird. Okay, uh, now I need to. <sighs> I am a Not sad widow, and I need to yes, burn stuff. Now. Burn. I'm grieving. Man, I hope no one notices all this fire. The dead people are underground, and I have brought flowers because I am sad. <laughs> and boom, let's grab this. But the thing is, this is gonna change what you're carrying, like right away. So. What were you doing in the cemetery? Are you a grieving widow? Where are your flowers? What did you find in the mausoleum? Who is the milkman? That book you found was dynamite. Blows the whole thing wide open. It does? Yes, I knew it. I was completely wrong about everything, but now I've got it. That book came from the book depository. They must want to make us think that's where they want us to go. Because they think, we'll think, we know they know, we know. So we won't go. So I shouldn't go to the book depository? Of course you're going to the book depository. Take the sewers. Watch out for watchers and radioactives and perpetrators. Some of those sewer workers are involved, I think. You'll need one of these. Now we're talking. It's fake. It will help you fit in around the other assassins. Assassins? Wait a second. Beware the cows! Not all milk is enriched! Oh yeah. <laughs> well, after that first little foray into uh, the mind of Boyd here, I think I'm actually gonna cut this session short for now, guys. So I'm just gonna leave you guys by saying how finish it, soldiers, hackers. And remember, just because you're allowed to do something, that's not a good idea. Bye!